Anche in piano finanziario abbiamo un'offerta per il Black Friday. Abbiamo deciso di scontare del 25% il nostro workshop in casa chiamato Creo il mio piano finanziario. Una giornata che passeremo insieme e che ti permetterà di capire come far lavorare il tuo risparmio e il tuo patrimonio verso i tuoi obiettivi finanziari. Da settembre hanno fatto già questo percorso oltre 100 persone e abbiamo già molte date sold out anche a gennaio. Però abbiamo deciso comunque di fare un'offerta imperdibile per iniziare questo percorso verso i tuoi obiettivi finanziari a condizioni super vantaggiose. L'offerta scade domenica 27 novembre. Per maggiori informazioni clicca il link che trovi qui sotto o in descrizione. We start with a company that builds a box. And in practice, this box, they probably dress it up to look like a life-changing, you know, world-altering protocol that's going to replace all the big banks in 38 days or whatever. <laughs> Maybe for now, actually ignore what it does or pretend it does literally nothing. It's just a box. So what this protocol is, it's called Protocol X. It's a box and you can take a token, you can take Ethereum, you can put it in the box and you can take it out of it. Like you put it in the box and you get like, you know, an IOU for, for having put it in the box and then you can redeem that IOU back out for the token. So, so far what we've described is the world's dumbest ETF or ADR or something like that. It's a, it doesn't do anything, but let you put things in it if you so chose. And then this protocol issues a token. We'll call it whatever, X token. And X token promises that anything cool that happens because of this box is going to ultimately be usable by you know governance vote of holders of the x tokens they can vote on what to do with any proceeds or other cool things that happen from this box and of course so far we haven't exactly given a, a compelling reason for why there ever would be any proceeds from this box but i don't know you know maybe, maybe there will be so that's sort of where you start and then you say all right well you got this box and you got x token And the, the box protocol declares, or, or maybe votes by on-chain governance or, you know, something like that, that what they're going to do is they are going to take half of all the X tokens that will up stream into, maybe two-thirds of all, two-thirds of all of our X tokens, and they're going to give them away for free to everyone who uses the box. So anyone who goes, takes some money, puts in the box, each day they're going to airdrop you know, 1% of the X tokens pro rata amongst everyone who's put money in the box. That, for now, what X token does. It, it gets given away to the box people. And now what happens? Well, X token has some market cap, right? It's, it's probably not zero. But let's say it's, you know, $20 million market cap. And a bunch of arbitrageurs come... From, from, like, first principles, it should be zero, but okay. <laughs> uh, sure, okay. I... I <laughs> Completely reasonable comment. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't, like, that's not quite true, but it, like, when you describe it in this totally cynical way, it sounds like it should be true. But go. Describe it this way. You might think, for instance, that in like five minutes with an internet connection, you could create such a box and such a token, and that it should reflect, like, you know, it should be worth like $180 or something market cap for like that, you know, that effort that you put into it. In the world that we're in, if you do this, everyone's going to be like, ooh, box token. Maybe it's cool. If you buy a box token, you know, that's going to appear on Twitter and it'll have a $20 million market cap. And, and of course, one thing that you could do is you could like make the float very low and whatever. You know, may, may, maybe there haven't been $20 million that have flowed into it yet. Maybe that's sort of like is it's, you know, mark to market, fully diluted valuation or something. But I acknowledge that, it, that it's not totally clear that this thing should have market cap. But, but empirically, I claim it would have market cap. I agree. <laughs> it, it shouldn't so, have any market cap in theory, but in, but in practice, does, they right. always do. Okay. That's right. So, and obviously, already we're sort of hiding some of the magic in that, right? Like, some of the magic is in, like, how do you get that market cap to start with? But, you know, whatever. We're, we're, we're going to move on from that for a second. So, you know, X tokens being given out each day. All these, like, sophisticated firms are like, huh, that's interesting. Like, if the total amount of money in the box is $100 million, then it's going to yield... 16 million dollars this year in x tokens being given out for it that's a 16 return that's pretty good we'll put a little bit more in right and and, and maybe that that happens until there are 200 million dollars in the box so you know sophisticated traders and or people on crypto twitter or or other sort of similar parties go and, and put 200 million dollars in the box collectively and they start getting these x tokens for it right and now all of a sudden everyone's like wow 
people just decide to put 20, 200 million dollars in the box this is a pretty cool box right like this this is a valuable box as demonstrated by all the money that people have apparently decided should be in the box and who are we to say that they're wrong about that like you know this is i i mean boxes can be great look i love boxes as much as the next guy right and, and so, so what happens now all of a sudden people are kind of recalibrating like well 20 million dollars that's it like that market cap for this box and it's been like 48 hours and it already has 200 million dollars including from like sophisticated players in it so like come on that's too little right like and and, and they look at these ratios tvl little value box in the box you know, as a ratio to market cap of the boxes token. And they're like, 10x, that's insane. 1x is the norm. And so then, you know, X token price goes way up, and now it's a $130 million market cap token because of, you know, the bullishness of people's usage of the box. And now all of a sudden, of course, the smart money is like, oh, wow, like this thing's now yielding like 60% a year in X token. Of course, I'll take my 60% yield. Right, so they go, they, they pour another $300 million in the box, and you get a site, and then it goes to infinity, no, and then I, everyone makes money. I, I think of myself as like a fairly cynical person, and yep. that was so much more cynical <laughs> yeah, this, than I, I, how I would have described farming. Like, you're just like, well, I'm in the Ponzi business, and it's pretty and good. <laughs> point, have, and did any of this require any sort of, like, economic case? It's just like, other people right. put money in the box, and so I'm going to, too, and then it's more valuable, so I'm going to put more money in. And at no point in the cycle did it seem to, like, describe any sort of, like, economic purpose. Yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> Use very little math. Um, use a lot of like uh, elementary school math. Being comfortable with risk is very important. Um, <laughs> we tend not to have things like stop losses. I think those aren't necessarily a great risk management tool. I'm trying to think of a good example of a trade where I've lost a ton of money. Um, well, I don't know. I probably don't want to go into specifics too much yeah, with that. <laughs> <laughs>